the deal harris gang it's your girl coco and your boy baby fuzzive in the back and we in the car and i already know when we in the car that mean daily vlogs of mama coco and baby five period y'all he's so hyped y'all so we got some errands to run i gotta send off my jewel by coco charms if y'all have not already make sure y'all go ahead and shop wait 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 wait. before we get into this mother freaking video make sure y'all like comment subscribe He's so just attention seeker. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit and make sure y'all hit that bell and make sure y'all write in the yell. Write in the yell at 1920 Pacific Avenue, P.O. Box 16173, Long Beach, California, 90806. Period. He's so happy. But yeah, Harris Gang, I got some stuff I need to do. So I'm just gonna take y'all along with me, y'all. Make sure y'all shopping at Jewel by Coco and Edges like mine. The more y'all support us, the more like, you know, like y'all help us out. So anyway, Harris Gang, I'll be back. All right, Harris Gang. So we leaving the post office. I look crazy, y'all. I popped this bump. But all right, y'all. So five is currently out of diapers and he went up a size so he was in a size two now he about to be in a size three the reason why i know he's in a size three now is because he will pee like overnight and it would like be on our sheets and that's not okay so we finna go and look for him some diapers hopefully huggies got size threes at target by our house i swear diapers is like out of stock everywhere y'all but we gonna go to well all we do is go to target because I don't know. Huggies seem a little bit more expensive at Walmart. Whatever, y'all. I'm hungry, too. So, we might go get some breakfast, y'all. It is 10, 12 in the morning. And 5 just dropped his bottle. So, I have to get out the car to go get that, y'all. You see his little Bentley track in the back. But, yeah, here it's game. Just stay tuned, y'all. Y'all coming along with us all day. What's up, Harris gang? What's up, Harris gang? So as y'all see, it's me and five here, y'all. I'm taking my nails off because I got an appointment this week. So don't judge me, y'all don't judge me. But I know y'all haven't seen us in a long time. <laughs> I know y'all haven't seen us in a couple of days, y'all, but it's because we've been trying to like just deal with everything that's been going on with Danielle, y'all. Um, yeah, so something happened to her at the prison or whatever, y'all. And we'll get into that at the end of this video, but we're about to make up our dinner. It's not really a dinner, it's like a snack or whatever. And I had set five down in his little bouncer, but he did the fool for me to pick him up. So we're gonna make him a little snack so I can make my snack, y'all. So let's make him a snack. All right, y'all. So today we let him five try raspberries while we make meats and a snack, and I don't even know if I'm gonna have a snack. I don't know, I've been real down and real sad lately, but so I'm washing off the raspberry. Excuse the dishes, y'all, like we've been really just vibing out. So I've never even tried raspberries before, but five gonna try them. Five like everything, y'all, and he over there looking crazy, looking at me like, what's going on? So we gonna fill up his blue one today. I like these better than the mesh ones, y'all, the mesh ones, y'all. So I'ma just stuff a few. What is that? I'ma stuff a few in there for him. Okay, so I gotta wash these thoroughly, y'all. Well, I mean, I would wash them thoroughly, but I don't know. So, I got these from off of Amazon Fresh. So, I hope he likes them. I don't know. Five is different. He likes certain stuff and certain stuff he does not like. And when you put stuff in these, it's just so easy. All you have to do is just stuff it in there. I use my nail, y'all. As I told y'all, I'm getting my nails done, so don't judge me. And I'm gonna put one more in there because it ain't that many. And as y'all see, he getting frustrated. So all you have to do is just close it. And then, let me get it back. And then, boop, there you go. So let's turn it to him. Hold on. Let me adjust, let me adjust. It's your time, son. He just slobbed all over his pajama top, so. Say, all right, Harris gang, say we finna do a mukbang, a baby mukbang. Harris. Oh, okay, Harris. Let's see. Uh, I guess it's safe to say. Five likes anything, as y'all see. And then it is seasoned there, y'all, because I know y'all like, dang, she didn't even take the seeds out. But the holes, the, the seeds won't come out the holes, y'all. So he good. Um, 
But yeah, like I was saying, y'all. So I was gonna make me a snack, but I'm gonna make my snack. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm having for my snack tonight, y'all. But we gonna make me some tea in my little cup. And I'm gonna tell y'all, oh, sorry. My camera angle is off. I don't know why my vape is making me like, making my throat hurt. I think I'm finna stop doing the vape. I think I'm finna stop doing hookah and all. Y'all comment down below. I think I asked you before, but comment down below if y'all throat be hurting from y'all vapes. Like, why do it be hurting? Is it too harsh? What? Shout out to my friend Shay. She brought me this for my birthday. It's an H for Harris Gang. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out, y'all. Wash my cup out. I'm, I never do honey, but I'm gonna do honey. I got the great value clover honey, y'all. So we gonna put this in there. And I'm gonna let y'all see me do it. Well, I can't let y'all see. Well, I guess I can. I'm just going around the cup. All the way around the cup. Ooh. Okay. And it's falling in there like honey, y'all. I'm not gonna put it at the bottom because I'm just not. My mom came over here, y'all. She was so nice. She like, she straightened up my cabinet. I think I showed y'all it was terrible. So tonight the mixture that we gonna do is the, um, what should I do? I'm gonna just do throw coat. So we just gonna use throw coat. It's organic. It don't really matter. I got a lot of teas, but we just gonna do the throw coat. I'm almost out of this one, but. I'm sad about that. So, yeah, we finna talk about Danielle because y'all been asking me like, what's the update on Danielle? She wrote y'all a letter as well. So she's on my, oh, on my way. I wish she was on her way. Y'all, so she's um currently, okay, so like I said, um, she wrote y'all a letter, it's currently on the way, y'all. I don't know, they mailed back up at the near. The prison is just doing them so cold, y'all. I don't know what I could do or who I could contact. I swear, me and her mom, we've done so much. It's just like, you know, it just sucks. Because when the per like, I'm so used to doing everything for Danielle. Hold on, y'all. I got to get some water. Regular water. I'm just so used to doing everything for Danielle and me not being able to do it, like, help her out. It really messes with me. So, y'all, I put two tea bags. And I'm going to fill it all the way to the top. Shoot. And then after I'll read what the, it has a quote on here. I'm gonna put that in there for three minutes. But yeah, y'all, so basically, um, okay, so let me just tell y'all what been going on. So y'all already knew from Jump that Danielle was quarantined because Danielle, not just Danielle, but the entire prison was quarantined because they were going through um, breakouts from COVID in there. So on top of them being, on top of them going through the breakouts from COVID, a lot of the staff members have been calling out. Okay, I get it. No, we don't want staff members around the inmates because you know that's how they get sick. Because the inmates can't go outside, so it's the, it's the staff, right? Right. I know I wasn't tripping y'all. So long story short, um, they're low on staff. So when I say they're low on staff, that means that the inmates basically have to suffer. So Danielle usually shops canteen once a month. She has not shopped canteen, which makes her have to eat out of the cafeteria. I mean, she has food and stuff, but I'm just saying, like, you know, she has not shopped. She haven't got her extra stuff, like her meats, her candy, and just everything that she wants for herself. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure she's long thing. She is long thing. She told me that, and that she's ready to shop. So she submitted her paper to shop, but they have not called her. It's called, like, first draw, second draw. She said she, like, third draw, but she submitted it too late, and she submitted it to fourth draw. I'm going to tell y'all. So that's one thing that bothers me. And then she, she told me that they haven't been having hot food. So they be giving them like boiled eggs or they gave them a meat, a hamburger patty and some green beans. But I get it. Yeah, you're in prison. But at the end of the day, I just feel like as far as like staff wise, like they need to figure it out. Because just because you don't have the staff to do so does not mean you mistreat somebody and treat, feed them like they're animals. So like that's my whole thing. But y'all, I haven't even got to the nitty gritty part yet. Um, so yeah, so today we talked for almost an hour and she was just, you know, she was fine, but she was just like telling me like, you know, like she's just so thankful that she has like a good support system and that she has hair skin that I've been sending her, um, cards and stuff because there's people in there that really don't got nothing. So the fact that like, okay, they're not really getting fed like that. Um, it's like the people who's not really able, they're not eating either. So it's like, okay, yeah, Danielle has food or whatever. She's able, but it's people in there that's not able. So that I just feel like that's wrong off top. But... 
But y'all, okay, I'm gonna break it down to y'all now. I'm gonna have some tea and I'm gonna break it down. What's going on with the bell now? So y'all, um, what was I gonna say to me this morning? Um, okay, y'all, so this just made me very sad. So Danielle, I know y'all remember, I don't know what video it was. I can't remember what video I was doing. I told y'all, sorry y'all about the video right now because I'm trying to sit down. All right. So I told y'all that um I told y'all that Danielle was very sick or whatever. And um I told y'all Danielle was very sick. Oh my gosh, my camera. Okay. Y'all gotta excuse me, y'all. Today just not my day. Like when Danielle ain't okay, I ain't okay. All right, so I told y'all that Danielle, um, can y'all see my tea? Yeah, y'all can see it now. Um, where was I? Now I'm all hot and irritated. Okay, so I told y'all Danielle was very sick. She was throwing up and she didn't know what was wrong with her. Like she could, like for two whole days, she was just throwing up. Her head was spinning and y'all are aware that Danielle have real bad headaches. So we assumed that it was just from her headaches, y'all. So. Come to find out, y'all, Danielle tested positive for COVID-19. We're so sad because she was already quarantining, which they canceled our prison visits for. She was already quarantined. So the fact that she tested positive, she had to re-quarantine. So that's like almost about to be, she's going to have to be going for almost a month in quarantine. And when I say quarantine, it's not like, no, they seclude her by herself. No. She's with other inmates who has COVID-19. So regardless if their COVID-19 is just starting or about to end, they're all quarantining together. So I don't know, like, but I've been talking to her as far as like health wise and how she feeling. I'm assuming her like her COVID symptoms were in the beginning when she was throwing up and when she was vomiting, she was having the headaches and stuff because now she's better. We talk on the phone, she's fine. But she was just telling me, she was like, I believe that I caught COVID out of the shower, she said, cause they're so nasty in there. And she's just ready to come home. Like at this point, it's just starting to be too much. Cause like, don't get me wrong. I call down to that prison every day. I'll be calling, I'll be, I be, I would almost cuss y'all. I email the people that I can email, but like they just don't reach out. It just depends. You have to go over people's heads in order to get reached out. So yeah, your hair is gang. Danielle is doing better, but she wasn't doing better at first. She couldn't even walk. She couldn't hold anything down. She had a fever. Um, she couldn't even. She's on the talk bump. She couldn't even make it to the toilet. She was throwing up all on the floor. But what all that being said, no nurse, no doctor, no anything looked at her. Like, at all. So, like, I just feel for her right now. Like, I had to take some time off while she had COVID because I had to mentally prepare myself. Because, you know, not being able... Five just dropped his thing. He he do too much. But just not being able to be there mentally, physically, and emotionally for my wife, it kind of, like, broke me down a little bit. But I had to come over here and let y'all know because she wanted me to let y'all know, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Because five... I wanted to show y'all so look at all the seeds in there all the seeds so now i'm gonna refill it so we can finish chatting about danielle one second it's refilled and now we're gonna give it to five five e here say round two no the bottom grab the bottom there you go <laughs> and that's his night snack y'all but um okay like i was saying so i had to like mentally oh Y'all, I'm always doing some dumb stuff. I just waste my tea on my leg. Oh, my letter. Okay. <sighs> Y'all, I'm always doing some foo for stuff, but I'm not even going to. Y'all know me. I'm a realist. I'm not going to edit this out. Okay, but anyway, yeah. So, the whole point of me, like, you know, taking time out is because, like, you know, I just wanted, I just had to, like, mentally get my mind together, like, for that. Because when she was home... You know, like, we, we did used to still go out, but when she was home, we were so safe, y'all. So, the fact that she went in there and within six months, she already caught COVID. It's like, obviously, you guys are not sanitizing. Like, I get I get it. Like, COVID is everywhere. But, like, you know, the people, if they go do the right thing, then, you know, it'll lower the chances of people catching COVID. I know people are going to catch it, but I'm just saying, like, let's lower the chances of people catching COVID by sanitizing things. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, so I was just a little depressed, and then I started freaking out, like, what if I have COVID and all this other stuff? So I just had to take time. I when I had I went we went and got tested. I'd have been knew she had COVID, but I was just waiting, like, you know, for it to be approved, approved or whatever. 
So yeah, she tested positive for COVID, y'all. So I wasn't feeling okay. And I wouldn't have been able to get on here and talk to you guys until I knew my wife was mentally, physically, and emotionally. And everything I just, and health-wise, until she was okay. So now she's okay. We talking and everything and everything is good, y'all. So that's good. But I had to get on here and let y'all know like Danielle did have COVID and she's doing good. It didn't attack her, but no healthcare workers or anything were involved. They just didn't even check on her or anything. And I get it. They tell you to go home and quarantine, but the fact that she is like a, um, Danielle has health issues. So check on her basically. But yeah, Harry's gang. So let's go ahead and read these quotes on there so this one says in all things of nature there is something of the marvelous okay this one says there is pleasure in the pathless woods see these be keeping me going five finna do the fool y'all but yeah harris gang this was just like a little brief update or whatever this week we going hard we're gonna be doing whole new things we're gonna be doing eating with mommy eating with coco i just want to sh show y'all five y'all look like he do too much so now i gotta strap him in give me a second five just do too much sometimes but yeah yeah i strapped him in i always strapped him in but he was right there we was gonna just go right back upstairs so don't come for me in the comments we're just about to go lay back down but yeah here's game so i'm gonna take the rest of this day just to bomb five and get ready for my long week with you guys or whatever i love y'all here's game then yo love y'all a lot i appreciate y'all baby five love y'all shout out to danita she sent us some stuff for five names and we really appreciate it and we really appreciate it, y'all. Um, I will put five back in the camera, but that raspberry, is that going to come on his clothes? Because he just killed this this one piece. But anyway, y'all, make sure y'all write in Danielle, 1920 Pacific Avenue, P.O. Box 16173, Long Beach, California, 90806, period. And we out of here. Here's game. Peace out.